Right then, folks, you join us today at Kingsby Water Park where I'm, uh, I'm bream fishing. But um, not just any old bream fishing, I'm hoping to try and sort out the specimens, pick out those bigger fish in the shoal. I'm not here for numbers, so I've left the worms and the casters at home and being a bit more selective in my rigs and hook bait choice, just trying to sort out the bigger fish. I'm on a swim that I've been fishing a bit recently that's done me quite well. Uh, I've put some bait in this morning, but the fish seem to have moved off. They've, the wind's swung a little bit, although I've just there's a, there's a couple just shown to my left now. They're all up on the top. There's a, bit, it's, a, it's a bit of a high pressure. It's a funny day, really. The wind doesn't really know what it wants to do. But what we'll do, because I'm, I'm fishing opportunist style, I'll give this a couple of hours, sitting on the bait. If I have no liners, I'll have a move down the other end of the lake where I can see some fish are showing, sort of on the crease of the wind and uh, we'll put a bit of bait in and have a go for those later if this swim doesn't produce. So this is my setup for my, my sort of distance breaming. I've got my Preston bullet feeder. That's 40 gram, they, they, they do what they say, they, they fly like bullets, they, they are brilliant for distance. And above it, I've got it set up helicopter style, so we're pretty lucky in here, it's pretty weed free. But um, if there was any underlying weed or it was silty bottom, that helicopter system just allows everything to present nicely. I've, it's about six inch hook link, and I've got, I've got my rubber sleeve that attaches it, but also I've got a, a slightly extended twizzled loop. So that acts as more of a boom, holding it off the mat. If I hold it up like that, you'll see just how it holds the hook bait off the main line. So when you cast, that just, it does what it says. It spins round without tangling. And see? And that's got a, a 10 mil Sonia Bates wafter on the end. I'm, like I say, I'm trying to be a little bit more specimen orientated. So that I'm hoping that, that hook bait will sort out the bigger fish. I've fed quite a bit of corn, um, so the yellow, the yellow hook bait should mimic the corn and hopefully pick out those big bream. I've got a little flying back lead, which is actually a 1.75 a 1 gram olivet, and that does two things. That'll keep sort of the end tackle pinned down for when the bream come into the swim and over the feed. But it also keeps the line down and out the way, because it's a sailing boat lake, out the way of the boats, so I can continue fishing at range without worry of picking any boats up. So that's it really. I've, oh, missing out my new 1.75 Extend Opportunist Rod. I've been really impressed with these. The, the, the playing action is brilliant. And they pack down and they go into my bag perfectly so I can, I can still be on the move if the fish, if the fish show somewhere else. And they, yeah, they're doing the job brilliantly. 6,000 6, size reel, 10 pound line, job's a good one. Yeah, so at last, still in the original swim. We said we'll give it till three o'clock here. And then I'd go and try over the other baited swim. We've gradually saw more and more fish coming back up the lake. And then just start, we had a couple of liners and, that, and one of the rods are gone. Doesn't feel a bad fish. Just walking it in, just go nice and steady. Lovely soft tips on these 12 foot extends, pound and three quarters. Loads of poke to, to blast the feeders out. But enough, enough cushion so you don't pull the hooks from the fish. Not fishing massive hooks. Using my all rounders in a size 12. Which is big for bream standards, but I'm, I'm fishing ma baits to match it. Get in that net, not a bad one. Very nice, bit of patience and it paid off. Hopefully that's the first of a few now. Oh 
hopefully the first one of many. It's took a while for him to find the bait, but in true broom form, or hopefully in true broom form, once one finds it, the shoal find it. There's been, we've seen more and more activity over the bait. I mean, coming, coming back up the lake. We've always got the second spot still, if it, if it stays quiet, if no, nothing else comes along. But yeah, a nice start. Still plenty of time to go. Nice big old bream from Kingsby Water Park. I'm just going to quickly run you through how I knock my ground bait up. I like to, to measure these out properly, so I'm going 50 50 with the Sonyu F1 Dark and the Bonoffi. So I've got a bait, bait tub marked up with point, 1.2 point, point. I'm only going to do a little bit for now because it's just de demonstration purposes. But So I'll, I'll put a pint of ground bait in, into here and get it out of the bag. Give us a bit more. that one so I'm going to pop this into this bucket and I'm going to get a pint to the butt off feet. Same again, just fill it up to the mark. This one's a little bit more coarse so hopefully get it breaking down nice and quick as it gets on the bottom. Smells amazing as well. My little uh, sous chef, seeing if he can have a bit. Go on. Fingers. Right, so I'm going to stick that in there. Now, I like to add some bait booster, but I don't just put this directly onto the ground bait. I like to add it to the water. So I'm going to get a pint of water, if my, my friend will let me. So again, I've got a pint of water. I'm going to measure out three caps of bait booster into the water. Just wash that cap off. So I'm just going to make sure that base bait booster is fully dispersed through the water. So then I get an even mix throughout the ground bait then instead of just sometimes you, you can get lumps if you add it just directly so by adding it to the water first it, it fully disperses through the mix right so I've let that stand for a while now so I'm just going to push it through a riddle make sure there's no excessive lumps in it I mean it, it's, it's pretty good to go to be fair but just to make sure I'm going to push that through the riddle the swan is desperate for some of this go on mate yeah Get that there, get out of the way. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I've got my ground bait ready. So that is the ground bait that's going to go in the feeders. And I'm also, I've been watching these bream rolling further down the bank. The, uh, they've definitely moved down on the wind a little bit. I'm, I'm hoping they work their way up to this swim, but as a fail safe, like I say, fishing opportunist style, I'm going to go put a little bit of bait in. I'm going to go clip up where they're showing apply sort of eight to ten bait up feeders but come back wrap, <laughs> wrap my, my fishing rods up around the, around the distance sticks the same distance that i fed and um and yeah that that's like a little banker for later if these fish don't move up onto the bait hopefully they'll be ready and waiting <laughs> quick move on to that, that bit of bait we put in earlier. First chuck and we've had a bite. 
unfortunately it's just gone it's gone through my other line oh, I think that might be it I don't know if that's a double take actually <laughs> it might be a double take <laughs> thick in line yes that would appear that there is one on that rod as well Quickly net this one. Yep. So that was well worth that bit of pre baiting. We've sat down the other end for, for one fish, a couple of liners, loads of fish in front of us. But it looks like they're on a quite a big. Daphne feed, so this rested bait has worked really well to be fair because we just chucked two rods in and quick double take, very nice. Hopefully we'll get in amongst a few now. Coming in a bit easier than the other one. I say, just go nice and steady. No race. Look at that big old slab there. There's me saying it felt smaller. It's, it's probably a little bit bigger. Super. Well worth the move. <laughs> Opportunist fishing. Well, well worth the move that was. Just dropped onto that pre bait, two chucks, and I thought I'd picked up the other line while I was bringing one in. And uh, it wasn't, it was a double tank. So, just giving those fish some, some free time to get on that bait of a free feed definitely pays. We had seen them rolling down here most of the day, but they have moved up onto the other baited spot, but just that one fish just shows that little bit of effort, opportunist, packing everything down really quick. It took probably not even 10 minutes to move. And uh, yeah, well worth it. Two very nice bream. Right gnarly old broom to finish on. Well, I'm going to stop on for a little bit longer. Hopefully, I have a few more of these. I hope you've uh, picked up some useful hints and tips. See you next time.